In this video, I will create final settings for creating our renderings. So let's start with this drawing and click on this model views. Go to custom model view and select final view which we have created in our previous video. So when you switch to final view, this is what you see. Now go to layers panel and click on turn all layers on. Also click on thaw all layers. Now you'll find that all the layers are now turned on including the floor. Now go to visualize tab and click on this small arrow. You'll find a list of spotlights. Click on the first spotlight, press and hold shift key on keyboard and click on the last spotlight. All the spotlights will be selected. Now right click and select properties. Now in this properties, change this hotspot angle to 30 degrees and change this fall off angle to 60 degrees. Now move down and change lamp intensity to 15,000 and press tab key. Now click on lamp color, click here. This small box will appear. Click on this box. Click on Kelvin colors and change it to 5000. And click OK. Now we have made all the settings on this panel. Turn off this panel and turn off this panel as well. Now click on shadows and click on full shadows now. Click on sun status to turn it on. And now click on this sky off and click on sky background and illumination. Now click on this render panel, this is small arrow on render panel. You'll go to this render panel, now scroll it down and locate global illumination. Now click on this small light bulb icon and change number of photons to 10,000. Press tab. Now turn it off. Now on this quality panel change it to low quality. And click on this render panel. Click on adjust exposure. Now this will create a preview of our rendering and you can see that here is the preview. Now on this brightness change this brightness value to 100 and press tab and now you can see that the brightness value has changed but still our drawing is not visible so we need to make more adjustments in this drawing so click OK and click on this panel now you can see that the global illumination has been turned off so turn it on and change it to 10,000 press tab again now turn it off and click on this render and click adjust exposure again and then wait for this to create a render preview so now you can see that in this preview we have a good quality drawing and if you still want to increase brightness click on this brightness and change it to 110 and now press tab and you'll see that now our room is well lit so if you want to accept these settings click ok so now our drawing is prepared for creating final rendering. So let's go and save this drawing. To generate the final rendering click on this teapot icon which says render. So click on this and now this will take even more amount of time but this will generate the final rendering. So here is the final rendering in low quality and as you can see that it took about 1 minute and 35 seconds to complete this rendering. So this rendering is not of that quality that higher quality which you might need so in order to generate a higher quality rendering we'll generate another rendering but for now let's save this as image format so for saving this rendering as an image click on this file and click on save copy
specify a location right now I'm specifying desktop as its default location and now specify a name so I will specify its name render low quality and now press on save so this will ask you for image some of the image options and about its quality so I'll select 24 bits and 16.7 million colors and click on OK so now this image is saved on desktop and let's close it now so if you want to generate even higher quality of rendering then you can select any other preset from this drop down menu but this will certainly take more time there is one more option which is which can be used to generate higher quality rendering in very less time and that is using render in cloud so click on render in cloud but before clicking on render in cloud make sure that you are logged in right now you can see that I am logged in in Autodesk 360 so make sure you have a Autodesk account if you don't have go on and make an Autodesk account it's completely free it's just like creating an email account so once you're logged into Autodesk 360 account click on this render in cloud button and now this will prompt you to save your drawing so if you have saved your drawing it's okay go ahead click OK but if not click on cancel and now save your drawing so once you have saved your drawing click on render in cloud again so after clicking you'll see this prompt in this prompt select render current view and click on start rendering so this will first connect to Autodesk 360 and this will upload your drawing your current drawing which is 3d house to Autodesk servers and the rendering will be performed on those servers and you'll also get a copy via email if you will select the option and you can directly access your image from Autodesk 360 as well so I'll show you how that can be done so right now you can simply see from this information box that it's uploading your files so wait for a moment let it upload the files and it will show you when the rendering is complete and now you can see that we have this bubble indicating that the rendering has been completed so you can directly click on this link to go to your rendered drawing so now you can see that this default browser opened and here in this default browser we have this 3d house.dwg now click on this image to enlarge it and here we have our final rendering and which we can see directly that this is of a much better quality and also it took less amount of time so in order to save this rendering right click on this image and click on download image so here we have this download and you can see that this has been downloaded now uh, now you can simply close this browser and since we have completed our rendering let's go and save this drawing 